friends welcome to civil engineering exam today we are going to see the mcq of hydraulic engineering in the topic of open channel flow so the first question the flow characteristics of channel do not change with the time at any point what type of flow is it so option a steady flow option b uniform flow option c laminar flow option d turbulent flow so the correct answer is option a steady flow so next question the fruits number for the flow channel in the section is 1 what type of flow is it option a subcritical option b critical option c supercritical option d laminar so the correct answer is option b critical flow so next question calculate the aspect ratio having the channel width of 6 meter and the depth of 8 meter option a 0.75 option b 1.33 meter option c 1.50 meter option d 1.68 meter so the correct answer is option b 1.33 meter So next question calculate the mean hydraulic radius for the channel having 20 meter square cross sectional area and 50 meter of the wetted perimeter option A 0.4 meter option B 0.5 meter option C 0.6 meter option C option D 0.7 meter so the correct answer is option A 0.4 meter so next question the section factor of rectangular channel is 111.80 meter the discharge and velocity of the water are 250 meter cube per second and 5 meter per second respectively calculate the hydraulic depth of the channel option a 2 meter option b 3 meter option c 4 meter option d 5 meter so the correct answer is option d 5 meter so next question which geometric parameter determines the efficiency of the channel option a hydraulic depth option b hydraulic radius option c section factor option d normal depth so the correct answer is option b hydraulic radius so next question calculate the wetted perimeter for the rectangle channel having the top width of 4.5 meter and depth of 3 meter option a 12 meter option b 10.5 meter option c 7.5 meter option d 15 meter so the correct answer is option b 10.5 meter so next question the rectangle channel has a depth of 5 meter and a width of 12 meter calculate the hydraulic depth of the channel option a 5 meter option b 5.5 meter option c 6 meter option d 8 meter so the correct answer is option a 5 meter so next question what is the wetted area for triangle channel having the depth y and the side slope being z option a z y square option b 2 is it y option c is it y option d none of the above so the correct answer is option a is it y square so next question determine the hydraulic depth of triangular channel having the side slope is it and the depth y option a y option b y by 2 option c 2y option d y square so the correct answer is option b y by 2 So next question calculate the discharge through the channel having the bed slope 1 in 1000 area 12 meter square hydraulic radius of 1.2 meter and chassis constant being equal to 50 option A 17.98 meter cube per second option B 18.98 meter cube per second option C 19.98 meter cube per second option D 20.98 meter cube per second So the correct answer is option D 20.98 meter cube per second. So next question for a channel to be economic which of the following parameter should be minimum option A wetted perimeter option B wetted area option C section factor option D hydraulic depth. So the correct answer is option A wetted perimeter. So next question energy per unit weight of water measured with the respect to the datum is called option A total energy option B specific energy option C velocity head option D datum head so the correct answer is option B specific energy so next question hydraulic jump is observed in option A closed channel flow option B open channel flow option C flow changes option D volumetric changes so the correct answer is option B open channel flow So next question hydraulic jump depends upon option A temperature option B pressure option C initial fluid speed option D volumetric change so the correct answer is option C initial fluid speed so next question in which cases is the hydraulic jump not possible option A initial speed 
greater than critical speed option b initial speed less than critical speed option c initial speed equal to critical speed option d independent so the correct answer is option b initial speed less than critical speed so next question open channel flow takes place option a on a free surface option b in the pipe option c within the cylindrical depth option d in the pump so the correct answer is option a on the free surface so next question when the hydraulic jump is in a moving form it is called option a negative surge option b positive surge option c turbulent surge option d accelerated surge so the correct answer is option b positive surge so next question fluid speed before the hydraulic jump is option a critical option b supercritical option c subcritical option d dynamic so the correct answer is option b supercritical so next question fluid height after the hydraulic jump is option a normal option b low option c high option d zero so the correct answer is option c high again we will see in next video thank you